Hey everybody, it's Fifth and Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everybody is well. Okay, it's time for the cusp of two of my... I, I try not to pick favorite signs, but Aries Taurus. That's some bullheaded energy right there. That's some bullheaded, ram-headed, stubborn energy. It has to be. It has to be. And it's got to be an amazing... Leave me a comment how amazing this energy is to be in. And it, it, it has to be some, like, internal conflicts going on. Just leave a comment. Let me know. Um, my biological sister is an Aries, and our half-brother is a Taurus. They cannot be in a room together for more than 10 minutes without a fight breaking out. Because one person will say something and the other will react. And it just starts a fight. It really does. It just starts a fight. And me being a Sagittarius and an empath, I can't be around it. I cannot be around them when they're together. We haven't all been in a room together in almost seven years. I'll tell you, that's how long it's been. And it and that was right after our mother passed away. So it was just all kinds of energy anyway. Um, I haven't talked to my sister in five years, if that's perspective on anything. I talked to my brother quite often. We get along pretty good, but three of us can't be together. Uh, my Mars is in Capricorn, so... It's literally like a goat, a bull, and a ram in a china shop, and the three of us are together sometimes. So it's sad, it's tragic when that happens to family, but neither here nor there. Just, yeah. Anyway, if you're sitting on the cusp, this reading's for you. If it resonates cool. If not, leave it alone. Time and energy are both fluid. You guys know the drill. All right, you got the lover. I grabbed the wrong deck. You know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it there. Just set that right there. I grabbed the clarifier deck first for some odd reason. I'm not going to read with it. But we're going to leave that there. The lovers in the chariot. Huh. I snap food for reasons. So time for Ace of Swords. All right. Hmm. Okay. If you're new, think we're going to vibe and stuff. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can come back more often. Know when I upload, that'd be cool if you're returning. Comments are open. Go ahead and please leave one. If, as long as you're not being a jerk. I will shut them back off. Just throwing that out there. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. Oh my gosh, these cards are like Rios. The world, something's coming to a close. Shut up and read the cards. Um, where was I? I can't remember. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos be circulated to those who might need the messages. Okay, I'm going to shut my pie hole and read some cards. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Too many. None of them showed themselves. That can have multiple meanings. Are you closing yourself off? Or are you getting ready to attack a bear? What's going on here? Hermit. Virgo energy. Queen of Pentacles. Why? 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 So far, I have Gemini, Cancer, and Virgo on the board. Ace of Wands reverse. Something didn't fire off. Something didn't fire off. Disconnect. pieces when you go. Oh, wow. 
That's the Wreckers, I think. Interesting song for Dad to start playing on the jukebox right now. Interesting song. Leave the pieces. Okay. Anyway. Lovers in the upright and judgment. One more. Ace of Cups. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I didn't tip the camera down. Victory after the battle. Oh, it looks like you're going to get through it. All right. Talk to me about this Nine of Wands. You're off to new with this Ace of Swords. You're off to new. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, on top of a Nine of Wands. You are in fight mode. You know what you want. You're going after what you want. You're going to get what you want. You're starting new. The one on the hermit. Some fiery determination there. Some fiery determination. Page of coins to the knight of coins. Four of coins to the five of coins. Oh. It's communication, possibly an offer. Some you're not letting go of. Somebody's still out in the cold. One more. Give me one on that four or five. One on the four or five. It's our soulmate connection. And it's keeping you driven. Sun reverse, judgment reverse. You're closing yourself off to something that did not make you happy. You were burying a connection that did not make you happy. Closing yourself off to it. And you're digging deep, yo. You are digging deep. You are going into deep contemplation. You know what you want. You're going after what you want. You're getting what you want. You want new. And here comes creeping back in something old. Something old's knocking on the door. Maybe they didn't want to let you go. Talk to me about this Queen of Pentacles. Talk to me about this Queen of Pentacles. Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. Yeah. They broke your heart. You're resting. You know your worth. You don't want this anymore devil into the tower. This was toxic and you know it. Queen of Cups reversed, King of Cups reversed. You don't, oh wow. You're closing yourself off emotionally. Something's trying to drop your tower. You don't want anything to do with it. You don't want a cup. You don't want a pentacle. You don't want nothing. You don't want nothing. Talk to me. <laughs> yeah, talk to me about those Knight of Pentacles reversed. Because this is where it's creeping in right here. Throwing you into contemplation mode. Dig deep, man. Dig deep. Know your worth. Dig deep and know your worth. Ten of Swords to the Aces. Yes! Ten of Swords to the Ace of Swords. Knight of Swords to the Queen of Swords. Speak your truth. You know what? I don't want your Pentacle. I don't want your Pentacle. You put me through too much. I have collected my swords. I am moving on. I am starting new. Speak your truth. Give me one more on that. Two of cups, the star, the moon, three of cups. Hmm. 
Hmm. This is nice. Okay, so speak your truth. You don't want their pentacle. This tells me that you could like build a friendship possibly. And it could be a reunion and, and friendship and a healing. A healing after the battle, but possibly too many unknowns to get back into an actual relationship again. Could be third party. I don't know. You could already be seeing somebody else. I don't know. But you're off to new. Let's talk about why it happened for a minute. Why the Ace of Wands reversed? Why the Ace of Wands reversed? Why the Ace of Wands reversed? Thank you. Ace of Swords to the Two of Swords, Eight of Wands to the Nine of Wands. Rough. That's some rough energy, yo. That's some rough energy. That's a difficult decision made with all the clarity that you need. One on the Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands. Ten to the Ace. Four to the Five. You didn't take the cup. Somebody didn't take the cup. Something did not get started. And someone was very saddened by it. I don't know if it was you or if it was them. But a difficult decision was made that something became way too burdensome. Something did not get started. Something closed out. Somebody was less saddened. A cup was ignored or denied. Possibly because of some spilled cups. Okay. Two of cups reversed. Talk to me about the two of cups reversed. There was a disconnect. Leave the pieces when you're gone. The wheel and justice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Something came to a close. Something was cut out. Playing fields were leveled. Kind of a bit of legal matter. Maybe somebody was still going through a divorce. Or decided not to get a divorce. I don't know. What do you have to say? Queen of Swords versus King of Swords versus... Yeah, somebody got pissy about it. <laughs> and somebody didn't take it too kindly. But leave the pieces when you're gone. Why the Six of Cups? Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands. Leave the pieces when you're gone. Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords. There was some sleepless nights, but you carried on. It didn't completely break you. I may have put you in your head for a minute. One more. Oh! Seven of Swords into the Eight of Swords. Somebody, I just dropped a bunch of cards. I gotta pick them up. Hold on. Hold that thought, guys. Okay, I'm back. I feel like somebody possibly, like, planned to return. Like, they'll be back. They'll be back. This screams to me, they'll be back. They'll be back or I'll be back to make sure they come back. Oh, wow. I don't know about all that jazz. Ace of Coins reversed at the bottom of the deck. Ace. Somebody was juggling. Somebody was juggling. Somebody couldn't pick. Somebody couldn't pick. Alright, talk to me about judgment. Talk to me about judgment. Judgment lovers. Judgment lovers. Judgment lovers. Six of coins, seven of coins. Patience, investments, balance. 
making the decision that's best for you, making a final judgment call on something. Six of Swords to the Seven of Swords. Somebody's going to try to resurrect this. Just when you think you've moved on, somebody's going to come back and try to resurrect this. And you need to make the final judgment call. You may need to make the final decision. What's going to keep your life balanced? When they come back with this pentacle. Ace of Cups reverse. One of this Ace of Cups reverse. The moon into the sun reversed. Notice how it's spun on the table. Ace of Cups upright, two of Cups upright, going into the new. Going into the new. Got a two of Cups up here. You're moving into something new. All things should be revealed. So you need to gather your information, decide what's going to make you happy and what's not going to make you happy. Decide what you want and what you don't want. You're at that victory point. The battle's over. So which cup are you going to take? The old one or the new one? Give me Moonology. I don't see you taking the old one. I really don't. But there's a decision to be made here. Some of you have something new coming in. But you got some something else trying to come back to. But it is Mercury retrograde, so please keep that in mind. Oh gosh, what do we got? What do we got? You're very close to achieving your goal. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Well, we're going to take those. Give you a moon and full moon in Capricorn. The word gibbous means bulging. What a descriptive word, right? And pulling this card at any time of the month suggests that the situation you're asking about is bulging with possibility and coming to a peak. But this isn't an ending card with the, sorry, with a neat yes or no answer. Rather, you're being reminded that some adjustments may yet be required before you get what you want. Though you're certainly on the right track, which is hopefully reassuring you. However, there is a sense that the situation is a bit tense, so don't push too hard. One false move and the whole thing could blow. That's not meant to scare you. It's just to let you know that there's a, fall, a fuse attached to this situation. So be careful if you choose to light it. A fuse. Hmm. Interesting phrase for the Aries Taurus cusp babies. That's got to be for somebody. It's got to be for somebody. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. I'm just giving you guys crap. You know I love you guys. How hard are you willing to work for what you want? This card is reminding you that effort is required. Work issues may be about to come to a head when this card comes up. If you're wondering if you should stay in your job or leave, this card can be a strong sign to make an exit. The end of a, a rough time is forecast. This card also asks you to consider how ambitious you are and whatever you're prepared to pull out 
whether you're prepared to pull out all the stops and make professional dreams come true without being ruthless. With a love question, this card can be a call to face reality. Whether, Whatever situation you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more. All right, let's get a wisdom, and then we'll call it a read. A lot of cards to read tomorrow. All right. One wisdom. Hi. Soulmates! Hmm. Apparently, soulmates decided to pop out. 41, 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 is the number of conflict and contrast. Conflict and contrast. Change. Things changing. Harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship fostering personal growth. Love it. You are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you may vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you toward them and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially too. Soulmates can be friends for life and remain in your life for only a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom. Now, pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts. All right. And that's the ringing of the bell. I think I'm done for the day. All right, gang. Aries, Taurus, Cuss, babies, know that I love you. Be blessed, peace, love, and light. And I will catch you guys next month.